Hi guys, Tim here doing another military review and this time we'll be on the different forms of trench art Now, if you don't know what trench art is um, trench art is a form of um, art basically which the British Army during the First World War and sometimes during the Second World War if they've got their spare time off from fighting you know, sitting in their, uh, their dugout um, or by a French house or something, you know, like that, or just uh, back where the uh, engineers are, I've got their lathes, everything. They'll be working on, um, you know, a typical um, form of trench art would be a brass shell casing they found lying around. You know, they can whittle their way with the bayonet, scratch their naming, or scratch where they are, or the date, or anything. But yeah, the typical form of trench art is. Um, um, a shell casing, you know, either an 18 pounder, German 77, you know, you name But the other forms in trench art, of course, you get the the matchbox holder ones. And now this one is actually, if you can see, has got the God Mitzens, which is God's God um, God's with us, and this has got the German Imperial Crown on there. But this is actually originally a French matchbox holder from a, I think a French flower sailor, um, sailors, sailor, um, you know, before the war, but, you know, of course joined up for the French army, but that's nice, that is literally, was originally just a, a, um, a matchbox holder, of course, probably the Germans picked it up and put it, put the um, imperial, um, German imperial crown on them, so that's nice, that's, that's one form of trench art, now other forms of trench art, are what I call bullet trench art. It's basically like you got here. This there's a British um, 303 round there, like that, and it is dated uh, 1918. But it's a letter opener because you've got this great big wide piece of brass here. Yeah. So here's literally just for you know open your letters. So yeah, that's another form of trench art. You got this. Which is a German 7.92 by 57 Mauser round, or short shortened version is 8 mm Mauser, well, 8 mm Mauser. But it looks like it's basically um, that. But what they've done is probably a Brit, a, Brit, a guy from you know British Army, has come along and has put a little button hook on the top and put the uh, British. Um, general service button on there as well so that's nice but yeah there's many different types of trench art just many different there's bullet trench art matchbox trench art um, shell casing trench art uh, um, Royal Flying Corps slash um, Royal Air Force trench art, you know, um, different bits of trench art. But, you know, connected to that, loads of different forms. And this here is actually a 1916 dated, 1916 dated, uh, German um, eight, another 8 mm Mauser is actually on the top here, dated 1917, and it actually got a guy's whittled away at some other piece of brass and stuck it on. And it actually got the guy, got the name uh, Margot, Margaret there. See, so yeah, that's nice. Sorry about the uh, lighting, if I close my blinds, it will just be too dark, so I have to do this way. But yeah, that's a lovely piece of uh, trench art. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, um, trench art, if you want like to know, uh, which a lot of you guys won't believe me, didn't start back in the First World War. It actually starts way earlier than that. <laughs> it actually started um, during the Napoleonic era. Yep. Now there are re recorded um, witness statements of trench art being used and being whittled away, whittled, whittled away during, um, you know, trench art being formed during the Napoleonic era. Yes. 
but yeah, as as we all know, Trenchard, First World War, more commonly Second World War, most sometimes. But yeah, this is just um, this has been a video on the different forms of trench art. You know, you get um, bullet or round uh, bullet trench art, and you get uh, matchbox holder trench art, and you get artillery shell trench art. So see you guys.